Hey, this is John. What do you do it? Uh, today we're working on a ridge beam. So this is a ridge beam that I built for my shed. Uh, the purpose of the ridge beam is to add extra structural components so that we can share the load from the front of the shed or the front wall to the back wall. Um, doesn't share all of it, but it'll, it'll share a portion of it. And I cut the the top side of the beam to a 312 pitch, which is a 15 degrees. And I was worried about lining those two up. Uh, but in doing that, getting the, getting the two angles lined up at the top and to form a peak, uh, the uh, one board is thicker than another by about a 32nd or a 16th of an inch. It's tough to tell unless if I actually use my uh, calipers to, to verify. And rather than hand planing it, which I have done, but it's been a long time since I used a hand plane, uh, I'm going to use this DeWalt. It's the DCP 580B. This is the DeWalt hand paint planer. It's a power planer. Uh, so we're going to use this to do the planing, and I only have to worry about a portion of it, but I have to make sure that the front and the back are equal. So the, the joist will connect to the sides where I have, um, or the joist, the ceiling, not the ceiling, <laughs> the roof rafters will connect where I have these marks scribed for each one on 16 inch centers, um, but I need to make sure that the area that it's going to rest on will be um, will be flat. So it's about an area that's maybe six inches thick, uh, five and a half inches or so uh, thick that I have to worry about. So this is the planer. We're doing the unboxing now. Packed very nicely. Comes with some things that I'm gonna have to read the manual about. Okay, so I'll have to grab my batteries. I have a, um, I have 1.5 amp hour batteries that I'll grab. All right, so I will be using the uh, the side uh, guide. I'm not doing a rabbit, but I'm using the side. I'll use the side guide to help ensure um, that I'm doing things uh, flat. Yeah, because this wood is uh, three inches wide because it's two one and a half inch boards that are joined together. All right, so I have a. Uh, I have a 1.5 amp hour battery. I bought it as part of a kit. And this is a DCB201. Oh yeah, okay, sounds good. Okay, now putting the, uh, this is the area that I need to worry about. But putting a square here, I can see clearly that it's at a uh, it's at a bad angle, or it's it's a there's a gap there. So I want to plane out about this much to get it so it's accurate. So from here to here, because I have to I have to bring this down. I don't know if I have to come from the end or not. I will install the. Uh, the bracket that I was talking about, I think that'll be keep it out of the way. This only goes one way, right? All right, so we're gonna attempt this now. Let's see, does it get in the way of anything? No, it does not. All right, how do I keep this level? All right, so we're gonna come from here.
getting closer. I can see already that it's getting closer. Again, this is the area that we're worried about. I'm just taking off a little bit every time. So close. Although now I have a bit of an angle and that's a problem. That is a big problem. I don't want an angle. Oh, how do I keep this thing flat? Okay, and again, I'm worried about this area right here. And so, I think it's as good as it's gonna get. It's really close. It's almost like I don't even have to plane it. I'll just give it a couple passes. Push this up. There, so it's good I'm doing this. Okay, that's at an angle, that's not good. So yeah, it's right here. It's gonna be flat. It's not too bad. All right, so that was the planer. I I was hoping that I'd be able to get a lot flatter, um, but I need to work on um, maybe something that'll allow me to create a better reference. Uh, but this planer worked well. I was able to get the two pieces even. Um, you know, I, the way I'm holding it isn't the best. Uh, maybe I need to create like a router sled or something that'll, uh, let me do this. But right now, these two boards are even, as far as I can tell. Let me double check. Okay, so that is flat. And again, this is the area that it's going to be mounted on. So we're looking pretty good there. All right, so we'll consider that done. Now we're going to begin assembling the uh, the supports for the gable end to install this ridge beam. So yeah, this is the Dewalt. Uh, hand planer, power planer, it's a battery powered as you can see. It's got an output for hooking up uh, vacuum. So yeah, this, uh, this really worked well. And to deactivate it, just to remove that battery. 